This won't be running up, this will be flying all the way. Crikey. Well, just I'm impressed little, already, little right. Richard. Yes, <laughs> just a touch right, about six feet. Nikolai Hoygaard just chipping on the first. There you go, chances, chances. Oh, how did that miss? That is unlucky. Beautifully done. Good shot there. For the talented Swede. You're a bit of a golf geek, Wally, aren't you? I mean, you love studying. Yes. And are we watching the future of golf here with Aberg? Oh, yeah, both of them. Fantastic birdie putt for Yannick Paul for a two on the seventh. 2.39 to the pin here for uh, Nikolai Hoygaard. Easiest hole on the course, this par five. Over 70 birdies on it. Couple of eagles. Might be another eagle there. I'm adding him to my list now. We've got 45 picks now. You have, yeah, you're doing well. Aberg has played that nicely. Nice Look at job. that, what a beauty. Pick that one up. Another he's, birdie. He's now in my, he's now in my <laughs> team again well, after he that. He might get in, and I'll tell you what. Ball below his feet. There's the trademark dip through it of the Yannick Paul swing, and that's a superb recovery from that stance and that lie. Well done to him. So I have a head at the 10th, I meant. Third shot of Moronk. Yeah, beautifully played. Guaranteed birdie there for the pole. It's probably half a club of breeze in two. It's only five over the water. Set. Set. Just another magnificent sawn off three quarter wedge. Some good stuff, some brilliant stuff, and a little bit of uh, the average as well. And you see, there you go, perfect example. I like that about him. You know what? Doesn't get flustered. Bet Yeaberg goes straight at it. It's a few more birdies than I was expecting when I just clicked on it, Ben. I thought it might have been single digits. What a golf shot. That's how you play 17. Yannick. Tall third shot at the 18th, up and down here for 67. Oh. Oh. That was going nowhere else. <laughs> I just love the way they play, they get on with it, don't they miss about. They don't make a meal of it, they just hit great shots, and if they don't, they, they try again tomorrow. Ludwig Aberg, the former world amateur number one. Absolute cracker into the second. That would set up birdie. Well, this is not the start he wanted. Although that is magnificent from where he was. Nikolai Hoygaard has been the standout ball striker so far the only good thing he's on an upslope so he can get it he can get the elevation that's, it. that's why he brung that's why he brung the bunker into play off the tee <laughs> yeah. if you're good if you're that good Sets up a great chance for Valamaki's first red number of the day. Yeah, and he's going to make that. There you go. Now back to the first, and Matt Wallace found the water, went straight at it with his second shot. Now, this is his fourth, trying to scramble a par five, which he will, oh, just a little too much spin, which he may well do. Super pitch from Wallace. Second shot on his way at the 12th, a reachable par five. 
Probably his first bogey of the week coming on 11. Wow, what a way to bounce back that could be. Good shot, plenty of height on that one. Bob McIntyre in the European points list for Ryder Cup qualification. He's got a brilliant short game. We heard that from Stephen Gallagher. Oh, look at that. Here we go. From the bottom slope here, up the slope, on to the top. It looks pretty good. Oh, it's better than that. Give you a chance here, Anthony, up and down. Yes. Normally gets. Oh, Bob, don't let me down. No, he hasn't. He hasn't. He hasn't. Oh, he hasn't. Oh, he sniffed it. It was just beautiful. He gets so much spin on those. Yannick Paul at nine, fourth on the European list. He is the man who started the week just 90 points behind Robert McIntyre. Good clean lie at eight for Valamaki. It's not that difficult. We're just trying to judge the release, really. It's a nice, comfy distance. Yeah, exactly. 203 yards. It's the perfect 7-iron for Nikolai. Looked a better balance swing, that one. Oh, sensational. Sensational. <laughs> Up the hill also for McIntyre. Well, he did give it full commitment. It looks like he likes it. Oh, what a shot. That was absolutely flushed. As good as he could hit it. Came out hot, did it hot. Oh, got a piece of the hole and he'd be happy with that in a way. Because that took about two or three feet of pace out of it. And Sammy Valamaki, as he always does, is going for it. to turn it in a little bit right to left and right at it. How about that for accuracy from long range? And he's unlucky. It is a good swing, doesn't he? Because he's flustered. And that's a good swing. That's a tremendous golf shot. I mean, that is right out of the top draw. Well, I would chip it. Some, some I think, would blade it which I don't think is a bad play because he's so close to the flag. Brilliant touch. Oh, oh he's robbed. Oh. Absolutely robbed. Oh, it's a nice swing. That's a nice swing. Oh, it's a beauty. <laughs> Cracking shot. Really is. One sixty-six. I still don't think nine is the play for Valamaki. Trying to get all the way back there. It is dangerous as a backstop. That's a beauty there from Valamaki. Ludwig Aberg, second shot at the seventeenth. Is it minus ten? Oh, that's a good shot. Right, pick that one up. So that will be his second birdie of the day. Just needs to stun this a little bit. That's all he needs to do. He's not going to go far once it hits the green. Oh, just magnificent. As Anthony said, he's got a good short game. the hole. 89 to the pin for Yannick Paul at the second. And we'll do birdie at the first. It looks like he's going to birdie the second as well. Hoygar found the fairway at the 15th. 139 he's got left of the pin. He's just come off his first drop shot on the last hole. He might well get that back here at the 15th. Good shot. 23 yards back in the green, the flag. Can he get it all the way back there? Can have some spin on this. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. What a great recovery from McIntyre. 
Aberg for his birdie. Outside chance it is, really. On the sixth, short par four. Oh! oh. <laughs> Outside chance. Made it look like four foot, didn't it? Brilliant stuff, 15 under. Nikola Hoikov. Yeah, that's exactly what he needed to do. Ninety-four mark for Wallace needs to pitch this pass, which he's done. Yeah, tremendous. <laughs> Great control of flight and spin. He's on an upslope, so the ball is going to get some height. So on the graphic there, 24 feet is the drop from where he stood down to the flag. And that's an absolute crackerjack once again from Matt Wallace. McIntyre into the back nine. This is his third. Tenth to par five. Spin. Oh, oh. So good. Very good. Just slightly pulled it. Matt Wallace. But I think he needs to get up and down here. Drawing seven iron, gets it inside 15 feet. That's what you're looking at. Better than that, that's about 10 feet. another DP World Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.